it's all footage from the 80s. And one thing that's amazing is that they really stay true to their style. Uh, Bungie Chun is really known for being kind of direct and tense, and you're able to use all parts of your body for uh, attack. Uh, so it's really neat how, as the fight goes on, it doesn't really go back to uh, kind of the typical sort of kickboxing style fighting that you tend to see with uh, ring uh, sports combat. Enjoy the fight. Let me know what you think. Hello, 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 and welcome back, everybody. Glad to be here with you. As you saw from the clip, what happened? What happened to Kung Fu? What happened to Chinese martial arts? Also, uh, just to remind you, in the description box, I'll have a link for that video. So if you want to see the whole thing. Uh, and check out that guy's channel or whatever you want to do all right it, it'll be there my opinion two major things happen to screw up our beloved chinese martial arts the first one was the lack of sparring or i, I shouldn't even say the lack of sparring the the non-existence of sparring has really hurt chinese martial arts all right, when I first started at Master Sun School, man, we sparred, we fought. And usually we would either wear no gloves or some small gloves, but shoes are on, the whole ball of wax, man. And you're attacking, growing, you're attacking, you're grappling, you're elbowing, you're doing whatever, all right? That was how I started. But too much sparring is bad too, all right? And I'll give you a great example of that. And no offense to uh, Ledger, Bruce Ledger, my second teacher, you know, because the, the amount of sparring did help me a lot because it gives you that distance management, uh, things like that. It gives you that timing. So you start learning that, but you start pulling too much, all right? and and. A prime example of this is I would always mess around with people at school, at jobs, and when I was with Master Sun, nobody hardly ever wanted to go with me because I was going hardcore. When I was with Ledger, people would put their hands up with me, and even though I would go, gotcha, you know, and stop, they wouldn't stop. So it, it, it makes you look stupid, like you can't fight, or you gotta start putting more oomph into it, all right? But that didn't stop what had just happened. Then when I got with Shacoin, man, it got, it, it was like I was a child again, and nobody would lift their hands to me, you know, and they didn't want to spar, do anything. It, 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 but then I seen the opposite too. At teacher school, there was absolutely no sparring. All right, when we did do the small, smallest little bit of sparring where two people came up at a time, one would throw a back fist and the other one had to slide out of the way. And so, so many of these people were sliding and just getting hit in the face with a back fist because they only learned how to slide like that. They didn't learn to slide keeping their hands up. It never got modified. They had no clue what to do when somebody just threw a back fist at them. They had no clue. It was, it was a shame, really. So you see the lack of sparring or non-existence of sparring, how detrimental that can be but then you also see too much sparring how detrimental that can be and we all know some taekwondo kid or some karate kid that you know that's nine years old he's a brown belt or a black belt <clears throat> and couldn't fight his way out of a paper bag all right this is just the shame of our society and martial arts in general the second thing is the lack of Tai Chi. And that might sound strange to a lot of you guys, but 
how many martial arts, how many Chinese martial arts schools have you been to in your lifetime and trained at and they never, Tai Chi was not a part of the curriculum. Or if Tai Chi is a part of the curriculum, it's overtaken by non-martial arts people who have no freaking clue how this grand ultimate fist is applied in real life, all right? So these are the two biggest problems I've seen in the Chinese martial arts. Teachers used to say the, the martial arts have taken a lot of steps over the last 50, 100 years. He said, but they all been backwards. And it is very true, especially in the Chinese martial arts. I mean, right now, Chinese martial arts, if somebody says, oh, you do Kung Fu, it's like, it's like a joke, you know, that you do Kung Fu. So, number one, man, start moving. I mean, you might not have a partner, like I don't have really anyone to spar with or do Chen Na with. That's another thing too. A lot of the joint locks, Chen Na is a art in itself. And why this hasn't been taught at 99.9% .9 of the Chinese martial arts schools. I have no freaking clue why. It's probably taught at maybe 0.0001%. Who knows how, what's the percentage of who knows Chinna and who's using Chinna and knows how to use. Because the thing about it is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu or any kind of Jiu-Jitsu where they apply joint locks while they're grappling or wrestling around the same thing can be done when you're standing up. We practice it primarily standing up, but the same thing can be done when you're underground. Okay, so this is this is where the Chinese martial arts we have the uh, we have it all. We have the chin na. We have all any kind of kicks, punches, same things. We have footwork. We have throws, especially throws. I mean, all of it derived from Chinese martial arts. Why? And then we have Tai Chi. We have, we have all of these goodies, but nobody's putting it together. All right? Start using your cabeza and make these things happen. If you don't have a partner, start moving. Start, start shadow boxing again, all right? Start, you know, doing the little things that'll keep you agile, all right? And that's what we need to keep agile over these gray years, all right? I, I'm rambling and I, I'm probably going off course, but I hope you guys get the message here. Sparring and Tai Chi and we're going to be getting into those two subjects to keep this Chinese martial arts alive and well, peace be with you.